This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the Compliance Week 2022 podcast series. Compliance Week is thrilled to be back 100% live and in person after three years apart. Back for its 17th year at Compliance Week National 2022, compliance, ethics, legal, and audit professionals will gain insights and make connections at the industry's premier cross-industry national compliance event offering knowledge, packed, accredited sessions, and take-home advice from the most influential leaders in the compliance community. In this podcast series, we will detail some of the speakers and what they will be discussing at the event and why they are attending Compliance Week 2022. I hope you will join me in attending this conference and particularly this year when it's literally the first major compliance conference which will be held live since the pandemic began. We link to the conference in the show notes and listeners to this podcast get a special discount which is also listed in the show notes. I hope to see you in May at Compliance Week 2022. In this episode, I visit with Charles Schwager, Chief Compliance Officer at WM, or the company that used to be known as Waste Management, and he is going to talk to us about his panel on the current state of compliance and where it may be headed down the road. I know you'll enjoy his remarks, and I hope you'll join us at Compliance Week 2022. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox back for another episode in the Compliance Week 2022 conference podcast series. Today, I'm thrilled to have with me Charles Schwager. I've known Charles for a long time. And Charles, first of all, welcome. And thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. Uh, thanks for having me, Tom. I, I greatly appreciate you taking time too. Charles, could you tell us what your current role is? So I am presently the uh, Vice President and Chief Compliance and Ethics Officer at WM. We, we used to be called Waste Management Corp. We've now rebranded and we're uh, going by WM really to highlight the holistic nature of what we're doing on the sustainability front. Um, and we've got a lot of that going on at our company and it's really kind of defining, you know, where we're, you know, where we're headed and what's driving us. Uh, so Charles, uh, I have your... Uh, topic, uh, or at least the panel uh, that you're going to be on as the current state of compliance and what's in store for the future. And I wanted to ask you if you might give a teaser about uh, or a few thoughts on what you hope to communicate on your part of this panel. Well, I think that, you know, try to give my perspective and experience on kind of where we are, you know, today and obviously, you know, where I see that going or potentially changing as we move forward. And, um, you know, so I think it's a good group and I think it should be an interesting discussion and we'll see where it goes. I think you've been doing this a long, long time and, you know, there was compliance, you know, 2.0 and now the ESG and, and all these different things that impact our, uh, you know, our, our lives and kind of how we're doing it in this part of the world. And, and so it'll be, you know, interesting to kind of hear what people's perspectives are as we, you know, move forward and how these things might, you know, impact the state of compliance and ethics. Well, Charles, Charles, you certainly have some uh, experienced people, not only as uh, panelists, co-panelists, but uh, also your uh, moderator, Steve uh, Naughton, as well. So I'm really intrigued uh, about what your thoughts are going to be on where we may be down the road. But I wanted to end, Charles, by asking, um, what do you hope to get out of Compliance Week 2022? Well, I've, I've never uh, had the opportunity to go before, so I'm really looking forward to the event. You know, as uh, as all of us, we've all been uh, not traveling as much the last couple of years. And so I've started to do that a little more. With, so it's been good to, to get all the benefits of seeing people in person and having those conversations and developing those relationships. And so it sounds like from looking at the agenda and hearing about the conference that it's got a, you know, a great opportunity to, to really get an understanding of what people are experiencing out there in the compliance ethics world, get some best practices, uh, what they're doing, be able to share what I can uh, from my perspective and, and just, you know, you know, hopefully take away some things when I leave that I can at least give consideration for building foundationally into my program. Well, Charles, unfortunately, we are near the end of this episode, but I wanted to thank you again for taking the time to visit with me. And I, for one, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you again for the first time in a couple of years in a couple of weeks at Compliance Week 2022. 
All right. Well, thanks, Tom. And I look forward to seeing you too. Take care. This is Tom Fox again. I hope you'll plan to join me at Compliance Week 2022. Registration information is found in the show notes. And of course, there's a discount code for listeners to this podcast that I've listed in the show notes as well. It's going to be a great conference. We're all going to be able to get together in a full conference for the first time since the pandemic began. I hope you will plan to join me and all of your fellow compliance professionals at Compliance Week 2022.